Hello everyone, welcome to Imagination's Pick a Pile Tarot Card Reading Timeless. Before we begin, I just want to let you know that this video is being created in uh, Treaty 7 territory, the traditional lands of the Blackfoot Confederacy of Siksika, Kenai, and Pekani, the Iyahe Nakoda, the Tsutina Nations, and Region 3 Metis of Alberta. So with that, today's tarot reading is going to be about the question, I don't know if you can see that well, can I trust this person? So take a moment and think about whatever person you may have this question for. Get that person clearly into your mind. And then I'm going to present you with your three options. So the black box here with the elements will be pile number one. The bear claw print here will be pile number two. And the alchemical symbols will be pile number three. So please take a moment. Picture the person that you want to ask about this question and concentrate to find out which pile you are drawn to. And we are going to get ready now to move on to wrong buttons and just the cards. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. So, welcome, pile number one. Uh, this is going to be the tarot reading, looking into, uh, can I trust this person? So, let's uh, shuffle the cards. So I'm going to ask for a card now for representing yourself. And there we go. We have Temperance Reversed. Okay. Now a card representing the person in question. Four of Wands Reversed. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. Three of Swords reversed. All right, so let's start with this for a moment, pile number one. If you are represented by the uh, Temperance card reversed, then perhaps you may be feeling a little bit unbalanced or out of sorts uh, in a major life way in regards to whatever issue it is that you have uh, with this individual in question. Something that is coming up about trust, right, would be feeling very imbalanced, like you cannot have uh, that sense of trust within a person. Maybe they haven't earned it yet, or maybe they've lost it in the past before, and you're just not sure uh, if there's enough stability between you and this person for it to work in your favor. So. The individual is re being represented by the Four of Wands reversed, which perhaps is suggesting an individual that maybe we don't want to be celebrating or that doesn't feel like they are a success um, or that, I'm trying to get the exposure right for you there. How's that? <laughs> So the Four of Wands uh, being this person in reverse could say that they may not have actual stable foundations because the Four is generally about having foundations and therefore celebrations being um, thrown as a community, like inviting people over for a party, a dinner party. So this person may also not be seen as... Um, successful or stable and yet the energy between the two of you is the three of swords reversed which is saying the 
healing of heartache. So perhaps the person in question that you were wondering about on whether you can trust them or not is someone that you had been emotionally entangled with in the past who may have uh, hurt you and now you want to um, make amends, maybe just be friends, maybe, you know, just keep each other in uh, your lives, etc. Healing the pain, but still you're coming with a question of can I actually trust this person? So let us ask for a reason why you are asking the question. King of Wands. Okay, pile number one. I would definitely say that with this being the reason why you asked the question, the first thing that I'm going to say is you want to fuck this person. Or, you know, you're interested in having perhaps a sexual affair. Um, <laughs> or that you're quite passionate about it. Or maybe that you have a passion project. Okay, I know not everything is about sex. But that is definitely the first thing that comes to mind on trust issues and wands. So, um, that could be why you're looking into this. Because you think it could be like hot, fun, steamy. But it does seem like it is a person that you already have had issues with in the past and may be interested in readdressing. If it's not about romance, et cetera, it is about like collaborative passion project type energy. So the next thing we're gonna look into, I just put that here for you, is now we're going to look at the energy that you're putting out, that they're putting out, and can the energy between you work? So first we'll start with the energy that you're putting out. That's a whole lot of pile. <laughs> There. You are putting out the tower. Oh my. The individual. What kind of... Ooh, double. Ooh, triple actually. Ooh. How fascinating. Can you trust this person with these energies? I'm just going to do one more. Can this person trust you? Because, I mean, if you're here scoping on someone else, let's just for funsies see if they can trust you as well. Let's be mutually receptive, that one. Ah, okie dokie. I'll put that here. So pile number ones, you are putting out the energy of the tower. And that definitely means that there is um, perhaps surprise, perhaps, you know, things have gone uh, southward or downward spiral, shall we say, uh, in the past. Things totally deconstructed. Um, you're recovering from it, but the tower process is not entirely over. And, you know, the, the fact that you're entertaining this idea with this person is in itself surprising to you. Now, let's just go over and look at the mass fallout that the individual had. Three of Swords reversed, which is interesting because you've got that twice, and that is the energy between you, so it seems to be really coming from that individual as well. Um, the Eight of Wands reversed and the Devil reversed. So, let's talk about these. With the Three of Swords showing up again, it's that this person definitely 
You know, what comes to mind is maybe that this person is a recovering addict or attempting to or isn't fresh fresh in that zone because they don't feel like they have a stable ground underneath them yet with the four of wands reverse they don't feel like they have that level of confidence and and um, stability and victory uh, but they are in the process of healing right uh, it's slow going it's not quick it's not like woo we're just running with this this is a slow and laborious process and the devil reverse, right? This is why I'm thinking maybe a person is recovering from some addictive behaviors, etc. But it's that they're in the process of releasing things, working on things, etc. And this may not be the case for everyone. You know, there's this may be um, not entirely about addictions. It could be about mental beliefs, etc. It could be uh, around that passion project. But what I really feel here is that this person is uh, putting in work and therefore you're starting to entertain the idea again of maybe re-venturing into this entanglement with this individual um, because you see the work that they're doing you see that there is this sort of like healing process happening um yeah when it comes down to the fact of whether you should trust this person or not I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to say no. <laughs> Why, you say? Because of Father of Pentacles reversed. Get that exposure there. So you also have Father of Cups reversed. And what I get from this, again, with this narrative of possibly a person who's dealing with issues and releasing stuff is that they're still not emotionally stable, mature, have released a lot of that emotional burdening, nor have they got their like foundations underfoot and can function, um, you know, doing the daily things that one needs to do, etc. Um, they're not grounded yet at all. There needs to be a lot more work to be done and actually going in and I would say getting entangled in a state of a person in that area of recovery is actually possibly detrimental for both them and yourself. When it comes to, you know, being cheeky and looking into whether they trust you or not, I would say they do. Because of the Six of Cups, they feel like you ground them. They feel that their history with you, um, they emotionally trust you um, more certainly than, than if you were to be trusting them. So pile number ones. Uh, I'll give you also an advice card with this because, hey, I am just giving a personal opinion on the whole, like, mm, I don't think that's a great idea. You have free will. You can do without will. But just for counsel by cards, we will ask for one card for advice, please. Let us know what the querent should do in this situation. The crocodile. Now let's look into what the crocodile means. Uh, this book, unfortunately, is not uh, designed with a table of contents and numbered, so I'll just try and quickly scrub through. There we go. Okay. So just so you can see this amazing artwork. Look at that face. The crocodile um, message keywords, resting, submerging, collecting energy, and cooling off. The crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward. Now is not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. This doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing and building energy. Fill up the vital reserves so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. So, I really feel like the crocodile may be uh, reiterating a message of 
not the best idea. Let them have their time. Wait. If you do want to possibly readdress this in the future, you know, it is something. It's not to say that, like, people can't recover and that they don't have relationships. Of course they do. But now is not the time. They still have a lot more to do. Do not rush this. Allow this deconstruction process to happen. Allow gaining stuff underfoot. And I'm just going to say over here for you, being unbalanced and going through the tower, you need that for yourself as well. So give yourself some rest, patience, and work on your own area. And just allow this person to do what they need to do in life. I think definitely relax and work on thyselves. Okay, pile number one. So that is uh, your reading. Thank you so much for coming by. This is Imagination. What? Look at that. Graphics and everything coming in. You can always check me out on imaginationwitch.com. I also have Instagram by the same name. So see me there if you're into it. Okay, file number one, thank you so much. Welcome, pile number two, those of you who chose the felty bear claw bag. I should have done this with pile number one, but I didn't think about it. I'm going to leave this as a visual marker here that you are in the place that you chose to be. So, uh, pile number two, let's get into it with the question being, can I trust this person? So we're going to look first for a card representing you, a card representing the person in question, and the energy between the two of you. And then I will also look at the bottom of that deck to find the reason why you are here looking at this video. What's your underlying motivations? Okay, so one card, please, for the Quarant. That one, for sure. Three of Cups reversed. One card, please, for the person in question. That one. Knight of Swords reversed. The energy between the two of you. Two of Pentacles reversed, and the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords reversed. So, what this tells me, group number two, that it is most likely that y'all are here, uh, interested in checking in about, you feel like perhaps you've done a lot of mental work, perhaps you've been releasing a lot of perspectives, opinions, things that were limiting, and you're like, maybe I should give this person a chance with trusting them again. I've been, you know, maybe, maybe you judge them too harshly at first, or maybe you're considering seeing them in a new light. So you're interested in being open and exploring that through tarot. However, what's interesting is you being represented by the Three of Cups reversed. And what we get here is perhaps an attitude of overindulgence or, you know, considering the landscape, um, what could be uh, words, missing community, missing social gatherings. It could be uh, really craving connection once again, or it could be hanging out with the wrong types of crowds. Uh, so there is a heaviness that's going on here for yourself in how you are relating with other people. The other thing that may come up with this one, I would dare say, is that this one could also show that this, and we will see as it goes along, but the, que the person that you are asking the question about could be within your friend circle, more so than a relationship or work based. Your person that you are asking about is the Knight of Swords reverse, which means maybe you're not hearing from them at all. Maybe you have stopped communicating um, entirely with this person, or maybe you feel like maybe they play mind games, etc. because the Knight um, normally is charging forth with full um, resolve and sort of like a mental game plan on how 
they're going to uh, you know tackle the battle for example but in reverse it's like maybe doing it for unsavory reasons or the fact that there is no communication happening the next component is the two of pentacles reversed so it could suggest that you know either you feel like um, in your entanglement with one another that one person may be investing less and one may be investing more and so if this is new or if this is something more of an acquaintance whichever even if you've known each other for a while you're like I don't know anymore if I feel like I can trust this person because it feels very unbalanced so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a new deck and we're going to check the energy that you're uh, putting out they're putting out and then seeing about whether you can trust this individual or not card for the querent, please. That one was a jumper! The Seven of Cups. One for the person in question, please. Jeez. Small hands, I guess. Come in. One for the person, one for the person. Show me, show me. Okay, well, there was a lot. So we're going to... Ooh, okay. All right. So we have the Three of Cups reverse, which is mirroring you over here. Temperance reverse, the Hierophant, and a Four of Cups reversed. And let's see. Can you trust them? The moon. All right. Let's get into it. So pile number twos. It seems like perhaps... And the moon is showing up here as well. But that you may feel like there's a lot of either narratives being told. You know, you've heard a lot of perhaps people telling you different perspectives on this. And you may be overwhelmed with your thoughts and your feelings about this person because of all of the different inputs and all of the different options going on. Your person in question had a lot of cards fall out a matching of the three of cups reverse again i'm thinking this is like toxic friendship stuff going on as a possibility um, temperance reversed is very much about imbalance so if they um may have the fact that uh, either they're just having issues in their life and are extremely um struggling maybe with mental health etc and maybe taking it out on you um it definitely there is something that is not again like the two of pentacles reverse not in um equilibrium and so with that the that could be a major factor in the uh, question of whether you can trust this person or not. But then we have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is very much about the um, structures and rules in society. So it's interesting because, like, being out of whack, and it's like maybe they don't align with um, with maybe opinions about society, politics, religion, etc. Maybe that's uh, 
uh, a hot topic for them where they feel like they, they are very weighted in a different way. The other thing that I get from that, though, is that perhaps they're, um, if I'm seeing temperance to be the uh, mental health imbalance as a possibility that it does require them going to, you know, an organization and receiving help to be able to try and balance themselves out. And the last card with that is the, it was reversed, my bad, the Four of Cups reversed, which is normally like kind of an energy of the same old, same old. And in this case, look at that moon again. Um, the fact that a new opportunity is coming in that they want to take up and they want to engage with. and But they're still in a place of imbalance and toxicity, so, I mean, it's questionable on, on this new venture uh, on how that's going to go. In relation to you um, being able to have trust, well, pile number two, I would say no. And that's because the moon is all about illusions and uh, f trying to find truths and find illusions. So I would say, especially with the amount of moons, there's three that show up pictorially in this deck, that it's hard to tell truths. It seems like there's a lot of people talking in the social circles, both your side, their side, and perhaps you share so so the social circles, and that... Um, more than just the two of you are having, like, some hot goss, you know? So, and this is not meant for you to, like, start having fear around all of your friends, etc. But it does seem like there is um, some falseness going on. The other thing that I like to uh, just throw in there is to see if this person can trust you or thinks that they can trust you. Because, you know, we're here getting the download. So let's see what's on their mind. That one. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now, I really see that in regards to um, trusting you more questionable, but maybe have more trust than you do. And the reason why I say that is because the Four of Pentacles to me with this is saying like, maybe they trust you to like, uh, be a bit more free or let things go or be a bit more, maybe they see you more of a loosey goosey. So maybe, um, maybe, I don't know, there's not punctuality or something like that. They may see you as yes, like, they may have some trust in you, but they also have things where they're like, yeah, no, they're, um, they trust that there will be an issue in how you are behaving in the physical realm, basically. So, for example, let's just, again, like, if you have a, we're having a Zoom coffee date at, you know, 2 p.m. and you show up at 2.15 or something like that. That is not going to be the case for everyone, obviously, but it's an example that is coming to mind. Uh, so kind of that thing where they know that there are certain patterns that they think maybe um, they have issue or take issue with um, and that they can rely on you to behave in that manner. So with that being said, we're going to ask for guidance from... The Animal Spirit Guide deck, that one. And the one I saw was Spider Web. So please bear with me for a moment while I look up Spider Web in the book. There we go. And. Look at that rainbow color. Spiderweb's message in keywords is creator of prosperity through life's work. Dharma. The spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. 
It is hard work, but the spider neither tries nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process-oriented rather than results-oriented. And soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical, priceless tapestry. Abundance follows. The only other thing that I want to add that obviously is not in this messaging is that given the whole friend circle gossip thing, I do think spider and web is also representative of connectivity and how one thing happening in one place is felt throughout the webbing. This is very much networked lines and streams. So I would say that there's some issues going on in your social circles. I would check for illusions. Don't fully have trust at the moment. Um, hold space that people may be yeah, just gossiping, right? And there's no truth to that. What this can also suggest, based on what was in the book, is throwing yourself into your creative endeavors and working on your passions rather than getting wrapped up in like some, you know, toxic, gossipy behaviors. Uh, so, pile number two, that is the reading for yourselves. I hope that was helpful and answered your question. Uh, this has been Imagination, bringing you all the information through tarot cards. You can always check me out on imaginationwitch.com. Uh, I appreciate any likes, shares, subscribes, commenting would be quite helpful. Bots need to know if you're into this. I also need to know if you're into this. Please suggest any future kind of questions that you might want to um, see reflected in the Timeless Tarot playlist. And number twos, thank you so much for joining me, and we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye now. So we're going to get ready now for uh, pile number three. So hello those who chose the alchemy symbols, pile number three. We're going to get ready to do your reading on whether you can trust this person or not. So let's get straight into it. We're going to start with asking for a card to represent yourself. Ooh, boo, boo, boo. Hello, that was fast. King of Wands. Next, we're going to ask for a card that represents the person, which is the Magician Reversed. And we're going to ask for the energy between the two of you. Wow, this is, this is a hot jumping pile. Okay. Um, and we're going to look at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups for why you are even watching this video to begin with. So let's dive in, shall we? Pile number three. With the Eight of Cups reversed, um, you're returning back to a situation that you've already known. Uh, so this definitely may be something that has been in your life for a longer time, a person that you're addressing. Um, you're coming back to see what you can build, connect, etc. You've been doing some soul searching and now it's part of the the integration process is coming back and confronting what you had to walk away from to get clarity about. Um, you are being represented by the King of Wands and that's lovely energy. It's very fire element. It's um, confident, uh, self-esteem, personal power, a lot of passion, excitement, energy, vitality. Uh, it's got, you know, doing some good things. Maybe you're coming back refreshed from all of that inner work and you're like, I'm excited now and I definitely want to go through this endeavor. Maybe a passion type project thing going on. Um, but the person that is being involved with you, uh, you're still not 100% sure. You have a lot of optimism though. But there's something in your gut, in your intuition, that's just like, mm, mm, maybe I should just look into it, you know? <laughs> so, 
And the interesting part about that could be, again, not entirely just based on your intuition. You could either see that this person may not have all the skill sets or may not put as much effort in or may be more interested into manipulative tactics and in, in serving only themselves. So you may have more of that kind of like suspicion towards them. The energy between the two of you, though, has this uh, big movement, big changes, big stuff coming up fast here. So we definitely need to figure this out. But the Seven of Wands reverse says uh, it's hard to hold and maintain your own ground. And that could go between both of you. Uh, neither one of you feel like you can stay on top or find a place of communal agreement. And so are constantly... Um, is struggling you don't even have basically a stick to try and defend you're still trying to like even figure that out it'd be more like you're in a five of wands conflicting type of energy so we're going to now ask for some more cards about you putting energy out towards them, them putting out energy towards you, and whether you can trust them or not. And then because I'm cheeky, I like to look on whether they think they can trust you. So let's look for a card for our querent, please. Card for the querent. Card for the Clarent. Your energy towards them. There we go. Eight of Wands reversed. Their energy towards you. <laughs> Death. Can you trust this person? Seven of Wands. Huh? Fascinating. And can they trust you? Oop. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okie dokie. Let's get into this. Group number three, your energy towards this person may be that like they don't have as much drive and excitement as you do when it comes to whatever this endeavor is that you may be undertaking with one another. You also may think that they may not put in, again, as much work like with the magician card or that it won't happen fast enough or that they take a very long time in doing what they need to be doing and you're just like we've got big stuff happening and we need to like get a move on so you may not have a lot of confidence in their ability and that's part of your suspicion around uh, them they think that this is like could be could be either transform transformative for them but it doesn't seem like a pleasant process for them either. They may seem like they just, they're not feeling it, you know, feeling vibing with you either. They're like, oh, this is like a slow dying process trying to do this with you. Please don't take offense by that. That's more of just like how I'm feeling death when it's an energy put towards another person. When it comes to whether you can trust this person, it's very interesting that you have the Seven of Wands upright. And the Seven of Wands reversed is in your um, energy between one another. So what I get from this is that you can trust in that wand, in that passion, in that spark. Once you get it, you can trust in trying to maintain that and having that as the thing, as your torchbearer for the two of you, your common ground. And you trust in that more so than the individual. But it would be kind of like a yes. Do they trust in you? No. They're rethinking on whether they want to do this with you, whatever it is. Um, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is very much like 
do I want to invest my time in this? Do I want to be doing this kind of work? So I would say you trust the process and the project. You trust your passion for it. And they may be thinking about letting go and moving on to something else. They're reconsidering. So with that being said, we're going to now ask for a guidance card for you, the Quarant. Ooh, dragonfly. Let us have a look for our lovely air sign. Dragonfly. Fire. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Flip, flip. Hello. There it is. So, pile number three. Your recommendation is the dragonfly, which says, keywords, master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it's always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. Okay, so one thing that I'm going to say about this is that if you had to take stock and are coming back, it really seems like you've got a passion for a project and you're very excited and revitalized with the King of Wands energy. But be mindful, and I'm sure you're not trying to because you're excited for it, but be mindful of um, intense pressures that you may be putting on people to make this happen, right? Um, maybe it's micromanaging, maybe it's not um, never enough or never the way you would have done it or, you know, like, and I'm not saying that that is how you're doing this, but I'm just warning that that fiery energy, even though it's not expressing in a negative way, this really says that what you're putting out towards them kind of makes it seem like you are perceiving them as um, not capable or not working fast enough or not, not enough, basically. And they may feel that, or maybe they do recognize that they're not enough, and this is part of their transformative process and maybe they need to walk away from it. I don't know, but I just want to give the message that there could be a dynamic where it may not be as collaborative and you may be trying to, um, maybe you're the conceiver and having more of a dominance in it. It will be important to, you know, find that flame between the two of you that you can both latch onto and be excited about if this person actually bothers to stick around. So, pile number three. That is your reading on whether you can trust this person or not. Um, I hope that is some helpful information. You can always come and check me out in the services that I do over at imaginationwitch.com. I also have an Instagram page that puts up um, zodiac-related astrology readings for every month, as well as um, lunar magic series, and whatever tickles my fancy. But uh, please like, share, subscri subscribe. You know the deal with the whole YouTube thing. Please let me know if you have any sort of suggestions on what types of readings you want to see in the future. I would love to be inspired and look into questions for you. So pile number three, I thank you so much for being here with me. And until next time, bye.